And I want to be clear, this industry is collaborative when they trust you. But if they don't trust you, you're just going to have a tough go of it. It's just not going to work. How easy or hard is it to build the relationships with the retirement centers or the senior living centers? Like, you know, you walk in there, Joe Schmo, and you just say, hey, yeah. here I am. Here's what I do. Like, what is your pitch? What is your spiel? Like, how, how hard yeah. are you? To, to I love what those. you said. Uh, when people hear what I do, the first thing they think is I walk in there. Uh, back in 2011, when I started, that's what I thought I did. I, hey, I'm Philip, and I'm an investor, and I buy houses. It's not how it's done, Tony. In fact, it's a good way to blacklist yourself in the community that you're trying to that you're trying to break into. And so, what I've done is I've positioned myself and my company as a solution for the problem that the senior living industry is going through. So, I want to be clear too: the communities are about four of the 10 different stakeholders that I teach people how to connect with. Uh, there's other vendors that are helping in that time, uh, uh, that crisis time to help the family. And those people are giving mom and the family advice as to what to do. And so building relationships in this space is kind of like real estate. There's a couple things that are similar, uh, meaning they like to network. Uh, this is not done by cold calling and walking in the front door. So I want all your listeners, if you think that's the way it's done, I'll just say good luck with that because it's not. And so they like to network, but what to say to them is what I teach, how to how to unlock their brain so that way they don't think of you as a realtor or an investor, even though you might very well be a realtor investor. There's two reasons. The word investor can sometimes almost immediately people hear the word shark investor right before mm -hmm. it. Even though, you know, we're not, that's not what we do, but they hear that word. And when you're dealing with seniors who get taken advantage of more than any other class of people, you better believe their guard is up and their guard should be up. Then the second thing is if you just start with, I'm a realtor, trust me, I'm a realtor. That you ever heard the term crocodile brain? Like their crocodile brain shuts off when they hear you're a realtor. It's like meeting a mortgage broker or a financial planner in St. Louis. It's like, okay, <laughs> I know what this is. Like, I already know where this is going. Like you, you have not done anything to help yourself if you start with a realtor. Do you, do you think they already know a realtor? The answer is without question they do. So how do you stand out and how do you build a relationship? That was your question. And so there's ways to find those people in groups. There's ways to network with those people in a way where you present yourself as a solution for their problem instead of coming from that investor realtor perspective. So you don't, do you even say you're an investor or do you more just present the solution that your company uh, happens to help? And then, oh, by the way, part of it is that we take this part out of three or four different areas off of your shoulders. I ask questions that I know the answers to is, is my way to, of letting people know what I do. Do you, do you ever find that these families have a tough time figuring out what they're going to do with the house? Yes, Philip, every single day, right? You ask questions that I already know that they have this problem and say, are you working with anyone like that right now? In two sentences, I've really asked for the sale, Tony. I haven't said I'm an investor. I haven't said I'm an investor or a realtor. I haven't said either one of those things. And so there's ways to meet them when they're not at work. I wanna be clear about that. This is not cold calling. This is not walking in the front door. That's not gonna go the way that you want it. This is finding them in, in elements where they want to network, where they want to find solutions. And I wanna be clear, this industry is collaborative when they trust you. But if they don't trust you, you're just gonna have a tough go of it. It's just not gonna work.